Hey everybody. If you've watched my content before, then you probably already know that this channel is largely about enjoying astrophotography with equipment you already own. For me personally, what that means is utilizing my Celestron Nexstar 6SE to get the most out of it. And one of my biggest struggles with this telescope has been back focus and collimation. I have made several videos on the topic, which many of you have found helpful. But in all of my struggles to achieve the best collimation possible, I've always had this problem where one of the corners has always been softer than the others, or that just wouldn't play along with the other corners and would either be too close or too far away. And I covered this in my last collimation and back focus video, and I found the culprit to be play within the Celestron T adapter. What made a much more significant difference, and I didn't uh, really think of this at first was my T-adapter. The T-adapter has a lot of play. So when you unscrew this ring, uh, for example, if I use this T-adapter uh, to rotate my camera to adjust my field of view when I'm shooting various targets, and whenever you loosen, loosen this ring, this entire tube can shift position. And when it shifts, it creates a large amount of tilt, significant amount of tilt. In fact, by playing with that, I was able to reduce my tilt almost down to nothing. And now I'd like to show you my solution. I don't know why I did not think of this before, but all I ended up doing was getting some metal tape, cutting thin strips of it, and winding it around the base of the T-adapter until the ring from the T-adapter fits snugly around the tape, reducing all of the play down to nothing. This allowed me to normalize the corners when collimating to a much finer degree than I could ever before. And that in turn allowed me to fine tune the back focus. And so here is an image I took before making this change and one that I took after. I still have to tweak my back focus a tiny bit to get the corners to be as flat as possible, but I am extremely happy with how I've been able to flatten out the image so far. So if you have a Celestron T adapter and you have play in that adapter such that by the time you tighten the ring, the center of the field of view has shifted slightly to one side or the other, then you can use this method to help center your visual train. Thanks for watching and clear skies.